all right people welcome back to the channel thank you very much for tuning in to another video so right now me in the kitchen i deal with some swim around you see me but me have to stop for a minute you understand and talk about what i am hearing or what i'm seeing where shelly and fraser price is concerned and me have to address this because you see when you see greatness you always are trying to tear down greatness see you? and me have to make sure say People know where I'm going. I wanna leave Shelly and Fraser Price alone. I wanna leave Shelly out on an immature type of argument. You understand? So here we are now. See? Big up to the Americans then. Because the coaches have been doing well with our athletes. See? The ones who, are, who would have made that decision to take that trip overseas and actually um what do I call it now? Actually, pursue a degree at an institution and it'll work for them. So like the 800 meter athletes, them big up to them. You understand? Big up to the 800 meter athletes because definitely the 800 meter athletes, them are going well. You get what I say? So we have a 800 meter race yesterday at the Tom Jones Invitational and the Jamaicans absolutely dominate. When you have hear the Jamaicans really a dominate 800 meters, that was like far fetched in the back of our minds. But right now it is happening. Former Calabar standout Kimar Farkison, yeah man, Kimar Farkison ran a time of 146.69 to take top honors in that one. Second was Navaski, yes man, Navaski Anderson, 146.76. Tyrese Roden. 146.82 you understand so we have to big up these athletes you understand and there was another one tyrese reading that one and then the other um jamaican who is also a color bar man i can't remember his name you know rivaldo marshall he was supposed to run but he had other obligations and he never got a meet there you understand but may i say congratulations to these athletes for jamaican 800 meters to be dominating trust me Kudos, kudos, kudos. All right. So that is out of the way. That preliminary is out of the way. Can I have a big one up in our account and do what we need to do to support our athletes? You understand? By preparing them to do greatness. But you see, some little people, some little minute, some little um, mustard seed brain people, where those always are trying to push a particular narrative. Listen to me right now. On a leave Shelly and Fraser Price out on a dirty argument. Out of on a corrupt argument. You understand? And why may I say that people? Yeah man, may I, may I tell you know, the genesis of the whole conversation, you know. Because people need to know. So race take, of course, on the know that you try to talk about all of the the, 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 the ramblings in the sport where drugs is concerned. You understand? Illegal Hold on the people, check out the pot. Alright, so real stick always try for ill me no know if him, him probably wanna be a hero. You understand where it comes on to eradicating. He's always hearing a lot of things and I'm not gonna say his information is not true. You understand? Race take uh, would have been on my show before and uh, we talk track and field. You understand? So, he's a youth who love the track and field. So, I don't go diss him. You understand? Because he might try to ensure so the sport clean up. So, he post something, see? That he's hearing that wild things in the world of testing right now. Um, I guess this is coming off the heels of Shakiri basically indicating that she has been tested, tested, tested quite a lot. You understand? And uh, I guess people probably forget, so let me jog your memory. When Usain Bolt was on top, he said he was one of the most tested athletes. You understand? Mm. Although some of them don't believe, but it is what it is. You understand? So he's saying that he has heard that uh, things like baseline testing, checking athletes level now and then will re recheck at trial to see if anything has changed, if any spike in testing occurs. Uh, he's hearing that it's an auto out of their uh, the event or whatever. No, it's and or what's about it, right? 
So if they got your blood already, athletes, I'd be very cautious about what you put in your system over the next few weeks to go fast. I'm also hearing that USADA is really running with the Rodchenkov Act. If you forget what that was, it's basically when you can you can subpoena people and threaten jail time. I'm also hearing they got enough already info already to do a major bust. You understand? So I mean that is that is good because the sport should be clean. You understand the sport should be clean, and we don't like when the athletes um can't do with with whoever to 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 enhance their performance you understand especially on the illegal side they get what me i say so after he made that post some unscrupulous individual would feel like say seeing they want to be smart i want to mention shelly and fraser hey i'm, I'm mad this year though you want to mention shelly and fraser price name in a something like this yo and here now call out the person sovereignty underscore 901 you may attack yeah boy you can't shoot the messenger seeing but he said him saying get a message you know but here we must say which don't make no sense to me don't shoot the messenger but somebody said Somebody said they think, which is not factual. After them head them I use, I try to bring up story. You see me I said? They think Shelly had to take some type of announcement in 2022. When she went 10-6 at least three times back to back. All of a sudden in her last years of running. Again, don't shoot the messenger. And this comes from someone in the inside. But I heard certain stuff get swept under the rug. Bridging or sistering over your be. Don't come by internet come spread false narrative. If you don't have the facts, please don't flop yourself. Please don't ricochet. See? It? Don't do it. Because you are set up yourself. Read your statement again. Read your sentence again. You understand? You think they ha Shelly and had to take. Eh? You don't have no empirical evidence. And listen to me. If you have evidence, bring it to me. DM me, coach's desk, and bring it over here. And we're not afraid to light the fire. But me can guarantee you that based off this statement, this is wrong. Uno can just go around and attack false narrative against the athletes, them virgin. You know, if you have proof, you're thinking, you can't say, all right, you know, me think the athlete that do this and athlete that do that. That is absolute garbage. Uno cannot be doing that. And you, Mr. Sovereignty, you need to, you need to, you need to take a step off of the internet, man. Don't mix up Shelly and Fraser Price name in a foolishness. She's a great, she's a legend. She has done tremendously well. Eh? And the title them have you. And the title them have you. Eh? Or oh, somebody on the inside would have tell, tell you that about an athlete. Who are you, Mr. Sovereignty? Reveal your identity. Who are you? To say that somebody on the inside told you that. So that person who told you that, if it is true, a breach people's rights to privacy. So I'm going to bring that person there to, the ju to justice. If your feet say, I saw it go. You get what I say? So hear me, I'm going to tell you now. I'm going to leave Shelly and I'm going to leave the legend. This is her last hurrah. See? Don't mix Shelly and Fraser Price. That me I tell you now. You understand? All right, now, I don't have no more talking about this. I just say what I say. I'm going to leave Shelly alone. You cannot come and mix up the legend, boy. You think. Eh? And the person will tell you, you said the person think. And it is on the inside. Your argument inconsistent. Move up. I'm out.